According to the CDC and OSHA, firefighters are two to three times more likely to get certain types of cancer than the general public. But those are just estimates. There is no hard data. But that may soon change. You know, I look at our firefighters as our heroes. For State Representative Peggy Bennett, the issue hit close to home. There's a big hit on our department. Three Albert Lee firefighters were diagnosed with cancer within a year. Brett Boss, a 31-year-old marathon runner, was diagnosed with a rare bone cancer, mostly seen in children. Then arson investigator Doug Johnson was diagnosed with inoperable brain cancer. He died three months ago at 51. They do us a good service, so I'd like to do a good service back for them. Tomorrow, Bennett will introduce a bill to create a firefighter cancer registry. The health department would identify and track all firefighters in Minnesota diagnosed with cancer. What firefighters are getting cancer, what kinds of cancer, what types of fires have they been fighting you know, previous to that, so that researchers can get a hold of that data and look into this more. And I think you know, the evidence is really there already. Come to find out the greatest risk is not during the fire, but comes from the carcinogenic soot that sticks to their gear exposure that can continue long after the fire is out. The Fox 9 investigators surveyed 100 fire departments in Minnesota this month and discovered one in five departments had at least one firefighter diagnosed with cancer. One in 10 had multiple cases. Lung cancer and non-Hodgkin lymphoma were the most common. The bad news, according to our survey, 20%, one in five departments, haven't taken any education or prevention measures. Only 67 percent of the departments have a specialized washing machine for their gear called an extractor. 87 percent don't have a second set of gear for each firefighter. 68 percent don't have a spare hood. Representative Bennett believes the first step is understanding the scope of the problem. There's lots of researchers and scientists that are itching to get this data and, and learn more about it. Because we're talking about medical information, this survey will be anonymous. The firefighters' names won't be used. It will just be summary data. There is a measure before Congress introduced earlier this month that would do this same kind of survey only on a national level. At the state capitol, Tom Lydon, Fox 9.